move up from the vocal cords to your vision because as a lot of us get older, we do experience changes in our vision. But if you experience a sudden change in your vision from this to this, particularly in one eye, you may want to skip the eye doctor and head straight to the ER, particularly if you have sudden change and complete loss of vision in one eye, it could be an early warning sign of a stroke. But there's something called a central retinal artery occlusion, and that's when a blood clot prevents blood flow along the retinal artery to your retina. Wow. So where your retina, which processes the images that you see, they can no longer process those images because it's not getting oxygen. And you can get clots directly in that retina or it can flick off from your carotid artery. But usually people will think, oh, I have a problem with my eye. And the fact is, they're having a stroke. Right, and 55,000 more women will suffer from strokes than men. 55,000 more women. So it's extremely important not to ignore signs and symptoms of things, even if you know, you're taking care of a family and things like that. Really important to take, take heed of these. The most common symptoms of stroke, weakness, numbness, slurred speech, facial droop, loss of balance, things of that nature. But I also want to quickly point out there's two different types of stroke. There's ischemic stroke, which is 80% of strokes. That's caused by a clot. The other type of stroke is called hemorrhagic stroke, and that's where you actually bleed out into the brain. And then thirdly, you may have heard tr of transient ischemic attacks called mini strokes. That's where you'll get the stroke-like symptoms, but they resolve within usually 24 hours. But if you get those symptoms and they go away, it's called a TIA. 40% of those folks will go on to have a full-fledged stroke. That's why you need to make sure you get the proper diagnosis.